Hi everyone, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. In this series, we are discussing wave shaping circuit using operational amplifier. So we have already discussed a lot about clipper and clamper, and in this video, we are going to discuss how to perform sampling and holding operation using operational amplifier, which is another wave shaping circuit. Before entering into the video, subscribe my channel Easy Lecture, and now let us go for further discussion. Okay. So what is meant by sampling and holding? Here sample, sampling and holding operation it is highly useful in communication field. It is used to convert an analog signal into digital signal. And um, we have uh, discussed already about uh, converting an analog signal into digital signal in my another video. And uh, it, is, uh, it is available in my playlist digital communication and you can watch them for more explanation related to this. Now let us focus our discussion related to how to perform sampling and holding operation using operational amplifier, right? So here, sampling and holding operation, sample and hold circuit, it performs two operations, one is sampling operation and another one is holding operation. So what is meant by sampling? Sampling means the output signal follows the input signal. So whatever the input signal is, the same signal appears in the output signal when sampling is done okay and when holding is done the output signal is maintained at a particular level it is holding its amplitude level it is holding its last amplitude level so that is the thing okay so this is holding operation so there are two operations performed here and we have to decide the time period for which sampling should be performed and uh, the time period for which holding operation should be performed okay so we have to give the control signal to perform these things okay so when we look into the circuit of sampling and holding up holding circuit using operational amplifier operational amplifier should be there and the signal which has to be sampled and which has to be held that is given to one point and the controlling signal has to be given okay and the circuit needed for holding for retaining that last amplitude level that has to be there and all these things have to be there and the remain and while the sampling is done uh, the circuit should perform voltage following operation with this idea if you we'll design a circuit to perform sampling and holding operation using operational amplifier and it appears like this right so here the input signal which has to be sampled is given here this is the control signal that means the time period for which sampling should be done the time period for which holding operation should be done is decided by this signal the pulse signal and this is the circuit i mean the capacitor required uh, to hold the last amplitude level and all these things are connected to non-inverting terminal of operational amplifier and the inverting terminal of operational amplifier has a feedback loop right so this is the thing and one more important active device that is uh, that performs switching operation which is available here is n channel enhancement type MOSFET metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor okay n channel e MOSFET so that is available so how to give connection the input signal which has to be sampled is given to the drain of e MOSFET the control voltage which is a pulse waveform required to control the time period for which sampling and holding operation is done should be given to the gate of e MOSFET and the signal that is coming from e mosfet that is coming from the source terminal of e mosfet is connected to the non inverting terminal of operational amplifier through this capacitor and resistor arrangement right so here this input signal it is a continuous signal a sinusoidal signal either sine wave or cosine wave and this 
control voltage control signal it's a pulse signal in the form of a square wave form right so this is the control signal and this is the time period for which the pulse is on and this is the time period for which the pulse is off this is on and this is off what happens when the pulse is in on period then this sine waveform the input signal which is we are uh, which one which we are giving to the drain of e mosfet it is sampled when the pulse signal is in off position then uh, the capacitor helps to maintain the last amplitude level it retains the last amplitude level of the uh, sampling time period that means it is performing the holding operation okay so this is how it works so how it is done during on time period what happens the e mosfet it acts as a switch and the switch is closed during off time period this e mosfet acts as a switch and that switch is opened so this signal is not entering into the inverting terminal but this capacitor is maintaining the last amplitude level so this is how sampling and holding operation is done it will be more appropriate if we give this explanation with respect to the waveform right so this is the waveform of sample and hold circuit this is the input signal that we are giving to the drain of e mosfet which is a sinusoidal waveform and this is the pulse waveform or control voltage which we are giving to the gate terminal of e mosfet this is the time period for which the pulse is in on amplitude level and this is the time period for which the pulse is in off amplitude level during the on amplitude level the e mosfet is closed during the off amplitude level the e mosfet is opened when e mosfet is closed the input signal reaches the output because it is basically a voltage follow circuit during off period the e mosfet is opened and uh, it has to come to zero obviously but we have connected a capacitor and resistor arrangement so that capacitor helps in retaining the old amplitude level the last amplitude level of sampling period and that amplitude level is maintained again this pulse is in on position so e mosfet acts as a switch and the switch is closed so sampling is done okay so this portion of the signal which is in the output is same as that of this portion of the signal which is in the input so this one appears here right voltage following operation is done okay so this sampling and holding operation they are performed alternatively right so this is how sampling and holding operation is performed and once again uh, i repeat the sampling and holding operation it is used to convert an analog signal into digital signal and it is very much necessary to hold the signal at a particular amplitude level because um, while sampling is done while converting an analog signal into digital signal and uh, there is a chance for the signal getting completely curved because of the continuously varying input signal so it is a continuously varying input signal it varies continuously with respect to time and uh, this continuous variation may affect the conversion process conversion of analog into digital signal that conversion process may get affected due to this continuous variation and in order to avoid this that continuous variation should be maintained at particular amplitude should be um, hold during alternate time slots and that is performed by this sample and hold circuit i hope you understand uh, 
why we are going for a sample and hold circuit and how the sample and holding operation is performed by employing operational amplifier and uh, the arrangements that is required for this mainly the, the we are using a um, mosfet and uh, the capacitor arrangement for doing the sampling and holding operation i hope you have understood this complete thing and if you like my video come kindly um, share like and comment don't forget to subscribe my channel easy lecture again we shall meet in another video until then bye thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.